Hello everybody, this is Matt Parry, Rackets Manager of David Lloyd Harrogate and founder of MPTC Tennis. So before we start the forehand video today, just want to have a massive shout out to Jack Morrison, our tennis strength and conditioning expert who's put two fantastic videos out already. Uh, he's going to be doing a video every other day, so keep an eye out for those. I've already had loads of people send their videos of their kids and themselves going through the workout, so that's fantastic. So, as you can see, I've had to move inside today because the weather's not great. So, hopefully you can still see and get a bit of space so you can understand what I'm doing. So, the last three videos were the two backhand videos and the challenge video. So, now we're going to move on to the forehand side. And like we did with the backhand, we're going to presume that we have always moved from our ready position, ready state split step and... That's already been done, so you don't have to think about that. So to start with, like last time, we're going to work on the grip. Again, when it comes to grips, guys, there is hundreds of different ways to hold a racket. I am not saying that one is better than the other. I don't want to get involved in that argument. All I'm telling you is the grip that I use and the grip that I like to teach mainly. So again, if you lay your racket flat on its edge and we have bevel number one on the top and then we've got number two three and four. This time I'd like you to put your index finger knuckle laying on that fourth bevel with your pinky finger laying flush on the bottom. And this is what we call the semi-western forehand grip. The reason I like to use this semi-western grip is so that when my racket approaches the ball, I have a slightly closed racket face. It won't be closed on contact, but it approaches the ball close so that I can generate a lot of topspin. Because as you know, with tennis these days, the ball is hit very hard and very heavy and we need that topspin to get the ball in. So that is checkpoint number one, the grip. So semi-western grip, index finger on, nook, on bevel number four. Okay, so then from there, we're going to move to checkpoint two, which is, again, the unit turn. So with the unit turn on the forehand, we will slide our left hand, our non-dominant hand, up to the throat of the racket. And then this will help aid with the shoulder and hip turn. So again, it is from our ready position, our left hand up to the throat of the racket, and this will help us turn the shoulders and the hips and the checkpoint on this side here should be that you feel a stretch in this left shoulder here so it's your non-dominant handed stretch and your shoulders will be facing the fence or in my case the wall so that's checkpoint number two hip turn shoulder turn move, making sure that that non-dominant hand is on the throat as we take the racket into that sideways position ah uh, Final checkpoint for today, checkpoint three, is going to be where we place our elbow and the strings as we take that racket into the power position. So we've slid our racket up, we've turned our shoulders to face the side netting or the wall, and now we should also make sure that our strings are pointing out to that wall there. So the string bed is out towards the side fencing. There. And what we want is we want some elbow elevation and we want a little bit of space between our elbow and our hip. This is massively important as we swing back through, but that will be in video number two. So these are your checkpoints in power position number three. Checkpoint number three, shoulders to the wall, strings to the wall, elbow elevation to create some leverage as we sing, swing through later on and elbow distance from your hip there. So, there are your positions to practice today. Get yourself in a mirror, go through those positions. So checkpoint one, two, and three. Keep practicing them, watch yourself do them, film yourself doing them, because tomorrow we'll do the final three checkpoints, and then we'll have a challenge day again. So, hope this is helping. Keep practicing. Good luck and stay safe.